Hey, I'm Bob Murray, and we're here at the Philadelphia Expo Outdoor Show for 2011. And out of the crowd, I pulled <laughs> a good fishing buddy of mine, Kurt Kirby. And um, Kurt doesn't guide. He just fishes. <laughs> and uh, a super, super smallmouth uh I'm gonna, and I'm taking a, an expert on smallmouth fishing. He has shown me and taught me a whole bunch uh, about fishing the Susquehanna and the Delaware River. And I pulled him out of the crowd because today is, uh, what, Friday? And you were fishing on Wednesday in the Susquehanna River. Yes, Kurt, sir. Kurt, tell us about it a little bit. Uh, I just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> you know, the cold winter, it was just driving me nuts. So I talked to my buddy. I said, you know, we got to go. <laughs> And uh, we talked to a couple of friends, and they said there was some open water up in Sealands Grove, up in that area, below, below a power plant discharge. Mm -hmm. So we took, we went, you know, we went up there and we found some open water, found an open ramp and went out. <laughs> and the water temperature, now don't forget, this is uh, February, what, 18th, and yep. uh, what was the water temperature out there? If you went any more than 50 yards offshore, it was 31.5 degrees. Right alongside the shore, it was 38 to 41. And that's where the fish were? That's where the fish were. Uh, and again, again, we're talking about smallmouth bass yes, fishing. Yes, smallmouth. And um, what were you, what were you catch? I mean, you were talking I, but what was what were you catching them on? So we so we were using we were tried all kinds of different stuff. We tried the tubes, we tried the hair jigs, and we were using the jerk baits. I ended up getting a few on the tubes. But the hair the jerk baits is what really took off. And I, from the other guys that I know uh, were out there, what, the, the size of the bait was really critical this time with the size of the. the using very small. I, I, if you're familiar with the Lucky Craft lures. And even the X-Raps, they have like three main sizes, 6, 8, and 10. Mm -hmm. And the Lucky Crafts are 65, 78, and 100s. Mm -hmm. I was, we were using the 65, so I was using the 65, the smaller size, like two and a half inches. Mm -hmm. And again, how were, how were you fishing those? Very slow. Just very slow. Throwing them out there with the current, just giving them little twitches, twitch, twitch, and they'd come up and the, the, the bite ranged from a little tap to absolutely smashing it <laughs> towards the end of the day. You know, <laughs> once, I guess once that magic hour came on, you know, the oh, witching man. hour, it was, it was fun. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm standing here right now. I'm shivering because I'm going. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm, me too. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go back. <laughs> yeah. And um, you caught, I mean, these were decent fish. Am I correct? My big fish was 19.5, 19 inches, 19 and a half inches. Boy, it, can you imagine? I mean, somebody says 19 inch fish in February. In February. And that, that's, that's the whole thing. I mean, when. You and I have done a couple of shows together, and we've caught some very nice big fish Yes, at this time of year in December on the Delaware River mm -hmm. uh, when we did that show. We were catching some really decent yep. fish. And again, out on Cold the water. I'm, I, I love the cold water, whether it's fall, winter, spring, mm -hmm. early spring. That's what really brings those fish. That's where you get the big ones. You're yeah. not going to have high number days, right. you know, but the, the, fit, the quality is going to be considerably better. Right, and that's the whole And again, uh, just tell us a little bit. You had to get off the water because of what? <laughs> We're sitting there. I'm sitting there floating down the side. It's getting late. We have an hour, hour and a half left of daylight. Uh -huh. And the uh, water temperature, like I said, was right around 39, 40 degrees. And the fish turned on like a light switch. It was just unbelievable. It's like almost every cast for five or six fish. I turned around, and there's a, about three quarter, half a mile of ice coming right down alongside the shore. It must have let go up above and made its way down river. <laughs> uh, we got to get off this water <laughs> quick because we're going we're gonna to get caught up in this ice. You know, and Luckily, yeah. we were only... 100 yards above the boat ramp and yeah, so, so we ran up and got the got it got it uh, uh trailered <laughs> so you really didn't go far from the ramp then basically on the way when the fish turned on in the afternoon no we were headed back towards the ramp mm -hmm. and from the all day i didn't go any more than a half a mile above the ramp i was fishing that's wasn't far okay one other question how many boats were out there oh i know one other one but yeah <laughs> right there was there was a couple of guys out uh -huh. you know a good friend of mine chris was out there mm -hmm. And uh, there was a couple of boats above us, but not too many guys. More guys on the shore. There are a few guys on the shore. Oh, really? How yeah, waiting in. Well, guys like, are waiting. Yeah. Well, locals, you know, they, that's yeah, what, it, yeah. what it's all about. They know what it's about. They know. They know. They, they know what they got. Right. And that, if, if, if those of you who are not familiar, uh, the Susquehanna, uh, I mean, we start Harrisburg on up, but you have to really have to have a jet boat to, to fish Oh, that. yeah. You really, I mean, for the most, you could get away sometimes in the higher water without, there's guys that have props, mm -hmm. you know, that know the river. Mm -hmm. But it's very high risk. You got to have the jet boat, you know, because of the boulders and stuff like that. Equipment. What were you using? Spinning rods. I was using all spinning rods. Mm -hmm. And using uh, sensitivity, still... ease of casting in the cold. Your fingers are cold. Yeah. You know, you're not you're not reeling fast. You know, it's very slow, very methodical. And uh, you're, you're using the braided now. I'm or? using the braided fire line. Still, still I need using... to feel that touch. You know, because I mean? they're not they're not. You know, sometimes they hammer it. Sometimes they don't. Right. 
And so mono in the cold weather, mono tends to stay spooled up. You yeah, know, it doesn't yeah. gets gets real tight. Yeah, yeah. Stays that way. And what what pound test? The, I was using uh, six and eight. Six and eight. Six and eight fire line. And now the diameter is like. <laughs> oh, it, you're, it's it's thin stuff. <laughs> it's know? really 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 thin stuff. Well, I tell you what, I, I when I saw you today, I was angry at you because <laughs> here I am, and, and I enjoy meeting up with my friends and doing all this stuff right. here at the show. I said, but boy, I like to. Be be, be out there catching some smallies. We'll have to get out there again, Bob. Yep, oh, I'm game. Yeah, we'll I'm game. Definitely. Sometime in the next two months or so. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Well, this one is going to take off. It's gonna. She's gonna. She's gonna take off and go here. I hope. I hope. And she's I, itching. Oh yeah. I just. I can see the rivers coming to life. It was beautiful watching it come back to springtime. You know, signs of spring. Let me ask you a, birds and a couple of questions. I hear a lot of people talking to me about the Susquehanna going downhill as far as smallmouths go. Now I've been out with you, and I've caught some quality fish, and I know, you know, you've caught quality fish. What, what's your opinion on it? You've been out there I mean, many, many years, and you know it very, I, very well. I have mixed emotions about that, mm -hmm. and you know, the Pennsylvania Fish Commission is implement, starting to implement different programs to to address that. The problem with the Susquehanna River is, is you're not seeing the juvenile fish, mm -hmm. the fish that would have been born. You know, last year to year before, in the last six, seven years, mm -hmm. you're not seeing that many of those fish, the the six inch to 11 inch fish. There's 12, there's 13s, not a whole lot. Plenty of 14s left. Those are fish that were born, you know, eight, nine years ago. Mm -hmm. Your bigger fish out there are the ones that are still from the late 90s, early 2000s. Wow. You know, they're 10 years old, 11 years old, mm -hmm. and there's still a good number of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has some problems. They had some columnaris problems, and you know, and they're dealing with it. I hopefully they can they can find a solution. Well, I, I, I got, like I said, a lot of people are just kind of, oh my gosh, I don't see them, and it's just this or that, or this or that, and so you know, I just. It, it's definitely made fishing tougher. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, but mm -hmm. the opportunities for a trophy fish are still, still there. there. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think? I mean, is it a cycle, a cyclic thing too? I mean, absolutely. You know, you know how absolutely. Uh, yes. They say know, that's what I always felt. That Mother Nature, <laughs> you know, finds ways. Mm -hmm. Hopefully she can here. You know, we're not helping it. Man's not helping it. Right, you know, right. the sewage discharges and whatever, you know, yeah, whatever, whatever the causes are, the standard causes, low oxygen in the summer, low flows in the summer, high flows during spawn. What, you know, yeah. there's all kinds of different yeah, cycles. Yeah, a hurricane or a flood exactly. or something. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. All right, let me just switch gears a little bit. Now, the Delaware River is close to where you live, I live. Uh, you're not so happy with it this year. <clears throat> She's fished tough for me the last couple of years, and I've spent some good amount of time on her. And my section that I fish, usually from like Frenchtown down or Easton down, down towards Trenton, mm -hmm. has been difficult for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I hear some guys are doing okay. You know, what's okay? You know, I, I, and I know I've been out there a few times and haven't been able to hook up at all. Mm -hmm. And that's Yardley. <laughs> Uh, it's my backyard. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, I spent a lot of time in Yardley mm -hmm. over the years. Yeah, that, and that's a given down there, right? I have, I have three th days in December without a touch. Without a touch. And that's odd. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I picked a, but hopefully she can make a rebound. I don't know what the problem is. Yeah. I don't know if it's no fish or, you know, I don't want to speculate because I don't know. Right. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it sure does seem like the fishing has dropped. dropped Smallmouth bass right. has dropped off the the population because right, then uh, a lot of guys say well because of the big stripers in there now or well, sure the I mean, you know there's all kinds of there's all kinds of guesses yeah right, right. there's all kind i don't know well know. i hope it comes back because i live so right do there I. <laughs> so, so do i and hey i travel to susquehanna it's it's a four-hour round trip for me that's right you know you're talking gas money that's right. big time bucks that's right tolls yeah. 25 dollars in tolls yeah you know, that's a hundred dollar a day you're right you right. know so it's it's expensive mm -hmm. but and it's <laughs> yeah, it's worth it <laughs> to me. It, to me, it's worth it. They, 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 how can you afford to do that? Well, how can I afford not, not to? to? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you could. You could spend your money on something else. Absolutely. But not get as much pleasure. Yeah, that's out of my it. wife. My wife. She's. I know where you're at. I know what you're doing. You'll be home in an hour, two hours after dark. And I was like, Yep, that's right. So. <laughs> well, Kurt, I want to thank you. An my awful pleasure, lot. And, I enjoyed uh, it. And uh, obviously, we email each other something yes. like that. Yep, so yep, yep. Uh, again, uh, you know, you know, uh, give us some reports. Throw yep, it. Throw it to absolutely. the to, the, to uh, our website. And definitely uh, call me and uh, talk to me, and, and uh, we'll get when out we, there. When we have a hot and heavy action going, I'll let you know, and we'll see if we can hook up, All do right. something. All right. Thank you very much. I have available time. My pleasure. Delaware Valley Outdoors live from the Philadelphia Outdoor Show.